I want to sit at the park. Six pound, mate. Ah, fuck you. Car boot sales. I've actually had to refilm this entry, this um, this beginning bit because the last one made no sense and it was just it was dragging on, and it wasn't as funny. Uh, car boot sales. If you don't know what they are, in the UK and probably other places, it's a part where you go to a park, like your local park or a parking lot or wherever a car boot is being held. And a car boot, basically, it's the trunk of a car. But we call it a boot here. So, yeah, we don't have shoes in them, though. Uh, and basically, they get a... a, a a big old blanket on the floor and some tables. They put their old gubbins and junk on there, and then some old cobbler comes walking on and says, All right, mate, how much is this? 50 pence. Oh, sold, mate. And then you probably get a good bargain or something. But they're very good. They're like flea markets, probably. I don't know. I've got many good deals out of them, and here are a few of them. Now here comes the very rough jump cut that makes no sense. Well, old mate, here it is. Uh, I'm already recording this. This is this is my car boot display. I actually sold that plushy, that big plushy Thomas there. Uh, I found Tyler Evie. Look at him. Uh, plenty of other stuff here. That wall climbing car got sold, and the Thomas there. Uh, just setting up more stuff. A lot of stuff got sold, but I ended up using that money just to, you know, buy some things that you'll see later. Uh, there's all the stuff. All the magazines were free, and the, there's some tapes on the side. I saw this little slot car, uh, mini. It was very nice. There was another one that was a bit more broken in there as well. Didn't pick it up, because it was no use. A uh, bunch of cars. They were very nice. In that pile, I found the Chick Hicks. Uh, I may have bought that for the wheels. This Beetle. And the Mr. Machine. That was very nice as well. This little toolbox thing, I think it's a Hot Wheels thing. It's very heavy. I didn't get it for like the. I didn't get it because of the bent wheel though. Uh, some other Ertl uh, stuff I saw. Um, some minis. It's pretty interesting. It wasn't very interesting to me. Uh, and the car stuff at my basically my favorite store of the day. There's this Disney store McQueen I've never seen before. Uh, this Ramon, I don't think is very common. Uh, Cone Sally, it's the same thing. Uh, and this car I used to have, and I really like the shape of it. Uh, on that same stall, they had all these model trains. They're all static models, uh, but some of them do have moving wheels, like the austerity here. This guy was a bit more smaller. I don't know what gauge it was. I think it's like S gauge, maybe. No. And here's all the American units. They were all dummy powered, and I and they had some pickups on them. So I'm guessing they had like operational lights, maybe. I'm not sure. Don't know what this thing is. Would have picked it up because it's plain, and then Henry could do something with it. This Kitmaster Italian tank. It was missing a side off the tank, so I didn't want to get it. This guy looks. He's got like um a camper railing on the top for like luggage. I may have got this guy. He's very orange. Uh, I was going to get this guy, but I didn't feel like it. Uh, more car stuff I saw. Same thing. Piles of trains. And, and what was very scary with that Emily and Molly tender there? Later on, I found some engines to it. Oh, and I came back to the stall later and like, there was a bucket of spare parts. I rebuilt the City of Turo there. Didn't want to get it though because the wheels weren't quartered, but it did have a, a, uh, a drive worm gear on there. And look, in that box is Molly and Emily. And that's pretty much it. There's this nice Ben, and then there's a faceless Arthur in there. That was pretty surprising. And uh, these two bits of that for Andrew Conway. Uh, yeah, my man's old Anna Productions. Yeah, let's go. What did I get? First off, there was a big old, big old blooming. A mat of 
die-cast cars, and I decided to go picking through there. Three for a pound or something, or 50p each. I picked out Dynaco Chick Hicks for the wheels, because uh, this is another Disney store casting. I, I think this comes with a a very big Mack truck. But I like these cars because they're kind of similar scaled to the Tomica die cast ones. I also picked out... Oh god mate, it's Sodor Taxi mate! Yeah, I picked out another Sodor Taxi. So, th this dude... Alright condition, I guess. I just picked out for the sake of it. And uh... E.R. out Conaway and Daniel. Caroline. Uh, next bits I got, I finally got Ernie 1. The, uh, my, my whole diecast underground Ernie fleet is complete. I have Ernie 1. And I, I, these wheels are fake. I thought these big things were the wheels, but no. There's these little piddly diddly things in the middle. That it, it barely rolls, but just for the sake of having it, it was nice. Be big chunky wooden rowing magnets. This will be good for a Tommy layout. I can just put on the side. It's got no windscreen though. But I need like an Ernie figure. So I might buy the Backman one and then stick that in there. So that's very nice. I have Ernie one. Uh, next up, what could I show? I got a Kitmaster Rosebud. Let's see the other way around. I got a Rosebud but Kitmaster Austerity. Very nice. It's got metal wheels. I've got no idea if the original kit had these metal wheels. The coupling rods are still plastic, but the the uh, crank pins and the wheels are metal. It is a bit stiff, but you can see there it does roll. It does get. I, I did oil this before demonstrating, but. I think there's like a tight spot somewhere. So I'm not going to keep forcing it until I just shear off the coupling rod. But that was a very nice engine. It's got separately fitted handrails. It's got all the lamps it needs for some reason. Uh, I'll make it just sit up here. And a join along with it, I got a pug. But this isn't the dapple shitty one. It's the it's an actual another kit master kit. I, I'm planning to buy another one of these because I really like this kit. It's such a common but really simple kit. And look at that. The wheels move. It is a bit tough so I can't really have someone to shunt it, it along and then expect the wheels to move. But I think if it loosens up over time, then, uh, you know, light shunting, you know. This thing going back and forth along the track. It's a very nice model. It's very small. These rods used to be red, but they painted them in like a dark grey silver thing. It's a very nice model. And it's already the black plastic, so you don't need to get that shitty grey plastic and then just paint over it and then just have all the paint get scraped off because it's already black underneath and, you know, I'll probably throw up pictures along the side somewhere of what these stands look like. Friend stays up there. Uh, last model, no, no it's not, last kit I got for them, tanker. I mostly got it because this could be a nice wagon I could have on the side to be shunted around because it's missing a coupler and a buffer and I got this mostly just to steal the buffer and put it on the austerity. So, you know, I might buy a few more of these tanker kits because they seem easy and, uh, well I think they'd be really nice honestly. Uh, last model tray we got. Henry the FO9. So funny, yeah. Rockman 1445 fans, isn't it? Um, yeah. Apparently what Henry told me, this is an Afrin, Afrin blue box thing. I don't know much about American stuff. I only got this just because it, it was a good deal. I mean, like, it was three pound an engine or... Five pound for two. I got first time round. I got this and the austerity for five quid. You know that. That's how to walk around again while I was waiting for people to to buy my stuff. And 
I came around again and got the pug and the tanker for four quid. It's a nice engine, but like, I'm not really going to use it so much. I could have it on the side, I guess. It is very sun faded on this side, so uh, it's very orange. It's uh, very orange. Hmm. Uh, it's got a cup on the front. I don't really need it for much. If I wanted to, I could have this be pushed around by an engine without it being coupled. It's good, but it is dirty, so I could pretend it... Maybe the idea I could have on my layout is that this guy just sits outside and he's just been in the sun, even though it's... A, how the hell would you have a, 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 a friggin' F unit in the UK? I don't know. Oh, I could say it was brought over to England, and then it got filmed there, and then it just got abandoned there because it wasn't needed anymore. Ugh, something like that. Uh, last two bits. These are not for me, but for a friend. Partially for a friend. Brio coach I got for 20 pence. Very good deal. Go of Clarabelle. This is going to Andrew. So yeah. Whenever Andrew sends his bits, I can send Clarabelle and her coach. And lastly... Spongebob Thomas. They call him that because like... Look at this. Don't they look the same? Yeah. Um, I only wanted this mostly just for the face. Because I'm going to be putting that on my Thomas. If that even fits. I imagine so. But yeah. I can give a Spongebob face for my Thomas. So It's a really nice face. I do like this face. I haven't got any idea what the rarity of this engine is in the UK. I don't really see much wooden railway here, commonly, but, you know, hate Splatter Thomas, he's very cool, I could always just take his yellow paint off and redo his eyebrows and then put him on normal Thomas, I might do that after this video, after I've edited everything, I don't even know what else there is to say. Uh, wide ups on a Jenga tower. Mazagrot. Ugh, what is this dirty little thing down here? It's Dinacoma Queen from the Disney store. But it's Mazagrot and it's all rotten away. And it's broken. Oh, that's disgusting. Get that out of here. Brum, 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 brum. Yes, just got it. I think. No, I didn't. Oh, I hate you, rat. <laughs> I'll see you when you get a KFC bucket. <laughs>